Zack and Zeb and the Make-Believe Birthday Party by Sarah Massini. This is Zack. This is Zeb. They are very best friends. They are good at painting and sticking, dancing round and round, cheering each other up and having proper adventure. That is a good kind of best friend to have. It was Zach's birthday. Birthdays made Zach hum with happiness because they meant parties, friends, yummy food, presents, and things that go pop. At the end of his party, Zach was still happy, but Zeb was glum. I want a birthday, glum to Zeb. You will have to have a birthday, Zeb, sang Zach. Everyone has one. And guess what? Your birthday is next. Zeb skipped home and thought about his birthday being next. Next means the best mean, means the next day. And the next day means tomorrow. Zeb said to himself, So tomorrow will be my birthday party. And my turn for friends, yummy food, presents, and things that go pop. When tomorrow came, it looked like a good day to have a birthday party. So Zeb practiced happy humming in different ways and waited for his friends to come and the fun to start. <coughs> but no friends came, no fun started. Zeb felt glum. Rat-a-tap-tap came a knock on the door. It was Zack, but he was all by himself. Where is everyone? said Zeb. Where's my birthday party? Your birthday party? asked Zack. Yes, my birthday party, said Zeb in a high and wobbly voice. You said my birthday was next and now it's here. Whoops, said Zack. I've got an idea, Zack added quickly. Wait here. Soon Zack was back. Let's pretend it's your birthday, he said. But I haven't got a present, wobbled Zeb. We'll make one, said Zack. What would you like, Zeb thought. A space rocket, he shouted. Let's make a space rocket. So the two friends got to work and made a supercharged space rocket and painted their very own flag. Then they put on their helmets, pulled down their goggles, and... Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Away they zoomed on a make-believe birthday adventure. <laughs> they looped a loop through stars that sparkled. They dodged space rockets that looked like yellow balloons ready to go pop. Then they touched down their supercharged space rocket. <laughs> On the moon, they planted their flag and had a yummy birthday picnic. Thank you, Zach, said Zeb. It's been the best make-believe birthday ever. And you know what makes it even better? To ask Zach, as they climbed into the space rocket and flew home in time for bed. I know, I know, said Sang Zeb. It's my real birthday next. The end. Make sure to subscribe and like our channel. Thank you.